Hey everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager and I am playing some Nightcry. I managed to escape the monster I just did off screen because it took me a while to figure out which one of the uh, hide spots on this level I hadn't actually used yet. Because I guess you can only use them once. So, whatever. We can escape the monster. Hopefully I will not get chased by the scissor walker when I try to go upstairs. Because if you guys hadn't noticed, we've still got stuff to do. I've still got a VIP card that we haven't used. Uh, another card that we haven't used, I can't remember what it's for. This one. Card key A. I, have I used card key A? I can't remember. And we've got these three billiard balls that they will probably need to be used for something. I don't know yet. We're going to go find out. And again, hopefully not get chased by the scissor walker. Now, I don't think we have to go back this way. There was the other door. Or was it this door? I don't know. I don't know where I'm going, you guys. I'm not sure if it's this way or not. It could be this way. There is Jerome's room here. There was Saul's body in the next room. Um... So it's either down here, back to the party, or s the other door? Okay, so I can't use this door, so it would be the other way. Okay, good. Well, I mean, not good that I've now wasted the time, and I don't know if we're actually on a timer waiting for the scissor walker to appear again. I hope not, because there's literally no other place that I could hide. <laughs> I have exhausted all of the hide spots. <laughs> and so if I get chased by the scissor walker again, I am fucked. Okay. So I think there's the door down here. I think we've been in this room before. It's been like a week since I've played this game, you guys. It's just been really, really busy and stuff. Okay, so there's this door. Can I get in? Good. Am I going to die? Possibly. <laughs> okay, this should be... There's a door. We're looking for an evolator. Is this an evolator? Drizzle it up now. Oh, right, because we restore... Um, what's his face? Restore the power. Seems like Karki... Eric, you did it. We have power. Yay! Is it the VIP card, or is it the Karki A? Good enough! I did it! Did it, bro! Oh, this is pleasant. Um, can't- oh, there we go. It's cause I, I can't see, oh shite! Okay, we're going up to the VIP area. Maybe we can find Vigo and, you know, ask him what in the world is going on here. Maybe we'll find Jerome! Hopefully not wrecked. I'm gonna get attacked. Oh. Or not. Okay, I think I'm getting pretty close to the game here. End of the game. I think. Do I go in here? Yes! This looks important. I look at... I look at Pooter. I look at Pooter. <laughs> because someone's working on this computer, windows open to display text files and machine translation, website have been left open. Is that translating from Russian? It's like they're trying to, yeah, they're trying to translate some Russian text. Is the captain trying to decipher this text? Okay, what's that? The exception was the diary entries have been written in Cyrillic letters, right? Oh, he was trying to translate what was ever in this book. Because Cyrillic is like the writing structure of Russian, if I remember correctly. I can't read Slavic characters for the life of me! Well, let's use the translation thing. Someone was trying to translate the diary of a man called Vigo. So Vigo wrote his diary in Russian. Uh, clumsy. My daughter Yolanda, who carries the second one, will finally gain my child. My daughter Yolanda, who carries the second one, will finally gain my child. So it is confirmed how many days and nights were exchanged. My daughter who carried the immortal child shall gain the right to exceed humans next to Babylon the Great. Another one is the illegitimate child Otto. He who is my son is my grandchild and catalyst. <sighs> it's the water that represents the people. A cocoon is waiting to be born into a beautiful moth because Leolanda is waiting. Cut apart from this world and capture freedom. I can hear their joyous voices. Okay. 
Okay! He's being a slut with his daughter. Vigo! Vigo! Vigo slept with his daughter. Possibly non consensually slept with his daughter. And. and had a kid with her. It was both his. that's not. no, no. No. No, 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 no. I'm getting no leaving. Leaving. Gone. Getting out of here. That's gross. <laughs> that is quite gross. Very gross. Much gross. So much gross. Here's a thing. This is where I probably have to use the other key card, isn't it? Uh, around these parts, which one of these should I press to open the door? Enter the passcode. Is this something to do with the, <laughs> the seven, one, whatever? Um, but I don't know which one's what. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not getting away by just guessing. So I need to get through here. Is there anything on the good old SNS? Because it's always the SNS. S. Hi, Jerome! Um, why is he sharing this to me now? Dearest Rooney, since you were kind enough to take an interest in Patriarch's triumphy, when did I take interest in that? <laughs> Let me tell you who was triumphant. Amore Love was defeated. Pedu... Pedudisha. Modesty was defeated. Morte Death was defeated. Fama Fame was defeated. Tempo Time. Ultimately, it was Eternity who was triumphant. I bless you. Remember this in the glory of God, a blessed word that surpasses even death. I think Jerome's evil now. I'm going with Jerome being evil. I'm going with Jerome being evil. Oh, hey! That looks like the symbol on the thing. Um, this is Saul first. So it was 7, 1, and 6 were the with the balls that I have. The balls that I have! This is first mate saw, like I promised, supposed to be at the playing snicker. They're probably the best start to the basic nine ball game. Okay, so it was the top one, right, and then left of the second one. Okay. So it would be top, yeah, yeah, yeah. Top, that one, and that one. Cool! I'm okay with that. I don't know what's in here, but I'm gonna look. I didn't do it. Okay, this place is creepy. <laughs> and there's a face! Oh, no. A framed picture piece of being an old family photo. Cool. There's the... What the... It's the same as Jerome's family photo. <gasps> Uh-oh! Why would this be in Vigo's quarters? Because Vigo's problem... Oh, God, Jerome's his... Jerome's his... Jerome's his grandson, son. Some grandson. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, balls. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> Those are new writing implements are scattered across the desk. These notes are all in Russian. I can't understand any of it. Each note seems to list a recent time and date, though. Okay. The safe unlocked? Why would they leave the safe unlocked? Maybe their distraction forgot to close it. Well, what's in it? Money! And an eyeball. Instead of there's a case of the white sphere, that's a eyeball. That that's an dude, that's an eyeball. I'm never seen letters like this before. Mine! Yoink. Can I take the money? No. <laughs> I wanted to take the money! God darn nap. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? I've got an eye. And I saw a family photo, so this guy is definitely connected to the- what? What? I don't- OH! Oh, the- 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 the, the thing! The thing! The thing that he, um... Um... The thing that Jerome put in our... Okay. Um, the thing that Jerome put on our SNS wall. He was trying to give me a clue! Um, so no, no, no. Okay, so who, uh, tell me, let me tell you who was triumphant. Amore was defeated, uh, Peduziza was defeated, Morte was defeated, Fama was defeated, Tempo was defeated, Ultimate was Eternia was triumphant. Okay, so Eternia was the one that won. Is Eternia on here? Uh, Tempo, Pedusa, Fama, 
Amore Eternia. So Eternia would be first, or would Eternia be last? Yes. Okay, I need I need to actually write this down. This is this is this is some puzzly stuff. Okay, so I'm assuming I need to put the them back in the right order. So it would be Amore, Hudizia. It's like Jerome's trying to help me, even though I'm pretty sure that he's evil now, and also my love interest. That's awkward. Oh, but love interest and evil? Ugh. I'm going with evil. Tempo. Or he could be under control by his evil grandfather, father, father, grandfather. Then incest is gross. Eternitia. Okay. Okay. Let's see if this helps. So be Amore. No, but it did. So, Amore, uh, Pedusia, then Morte, uh, Fama, or Fame? C click on the thing, Scarlet. Uh, Tempo, and. Wait a minute. Okay, those weren't needed. And Eternia. Did I do it right? Yay! I did good! I did good! I did good! Yay! I wrote them all down on a sticky note. Oh, this seems bad. Okay, I've got an eye. I'm pretty sure this eye is going to be very important pretty soon. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh good. No, I was like, wait a minute, I had to turn the light on first. No, my light was on there. Excuse you. Okay. I don't know where I'm going and why he had this secret, secret thing of secretness. Am I at the end of the game? Are we at the end game here? I'm assuming I'm at the end game. Because you can see, like, the little chapter screen with all of, like, the branching paths. I was already pretty close when I started this episode. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm gonna walk into a ritual, aren't I? Okay, then! What the fuck? Was that Monica? Oh, God. Everybody's dead. Everybody got fucked, and there's rune- Oh, wait, Eric? Monica! Okay! Yes, this is when you pass the fuck out. I would pass the fuck out here too, or I would at least, yes, yeah. Mm. It's kinda gross. Kinda gross. There is everybody! Why did they go gather their bodies and position them like this? This is... gross. So gross. Hi! I saw you earlier and you were alive. You're not now, though. You are very dead. You are... Oh, dear, this is the ritual room. Wait a minute. Vigo? What is he doing here? Why is he just standing among the bodies? Hi! I'm surprised to think someone he has a voice. Holy shit. has made it this far. Wait, I know you. That's False right. eye. I'm Vigo Baratsov. The owner of this ship. We met in the cargo hold, Rooney. This is the first time you've heard his voice. A belated greeting. Oh, Welcome to the okay, Ocean. hi. I hope you enjoy your cruise with us to our behind eternal you. paradise. Dude, behind you. Uh, dude, 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 uh, behind you. Um. No! Off! Go of me! No! How did she not notice uh, that person jumping? Like, the Jerome? No! Jer Jerome? Uh, is that Jerome? I'm go I he has Jerome's hair stuff. So. Don't struggle, Rene. Really. Father is going to take us to eternity. <laughs> Jerome! He's evil! I called it! I called it! I called it! Huh? That voice. <laughs> Get him! Get him, Monica! Yeah! You okay, Rooney? Everybody loves Monica. Monica. Everybody, round of applause for Monica. What are you doing here? I told you I would be right behind you. Thank you, Monica. Dude, there's Jerome? a... A uh, dude. 
Forget There's about him. Th th behind it you! doesn't matter how much of a big shot celebrity he is if he's lost his mind. There we go! Monica's talking sense for once. <laughs> oh, great. Wait a minute, this is the party hall, isn't it? It's not working. Monica's not working. Monica's not working. Do I need to use the eyeball? I'm assuming I need to use the eyeball. Why won't you open? Uh, but, 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 but Monica? But Monica? Behind us? But Monica? 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 Um. Eyeball. 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 I, I'm assuming it's the eyeball because the only other thing that I have and I don't want to get killed. Because I think you get another ending if you do if you do the thing. Monica? Rooney? You gonna let them kill you? Yes. You still haven't <laughs> let go of your death wish? Monica, shut up! There is no music, and this is weird. You're right. Sorry, Monica. This is not the time to be talking, ladies. I'm surprised you haven't been eviscerated by the scissor woman yet. No matter what it takes. No matter the cost. This isn't stop talking and start doing! How has the scissor walker not attacked you already? Whoa! Rooney just dug her own eye out. Rooney just pulled her own eye out. Okay then, Rooney just dug her own eye out. Great. Hi. I have the fake eyeball. You can't kill me now, I have the fake eyeball. Get wrecked. Revenge is yours. Destroy the man who turned you into a monster. Yeah, go kill Vigo. Go kill Vigo. Damn, Rudy's hardcore. She just dug her own eyeball out. Kill him. Get him. Get him. Wait. Wait. <laughs> this can't be. Get him. Go get him. Oh. No, this can't be. Then you run away at this Wait. point, dude. Really, Wait. seriously. See, this is what you get for s for uh, hey, doing no, things no, no, to your wait, daughter. Wait. I don't think it's gonna wait. I think the Scissor Walker is kind of angry at you for turning your daughter into the Scissor Walker. No, wait, wait. Prepare to get wrecked. Prepare to get wrecked. No, wait for no, it. Wait. No. <laughs> He's not so enthused. Wait. He's like, no, wait, no, wait. <laughs> Most enthused death. Bye. Well, I guess. Oh God, Rooney controls this. This is a walker now. Rooney controls this is a walker now. And there goes everybody's bodies. What? So Rooney no longer has an eye. Well, she has an eye. She doesn't have her actual eye. She can't, probably can't see. She's gonna have horrible death percep- Depth? Death. Death? Death perception. Death perception. I meant depth perception. Depth perception. Woo! Yay! I got the good ending! I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Aw, they actually look kind of decent there. Look at her boobs. Why are they still jiggling? How is that top staying on her? I really want to know how that top is staying on her. <laughs> I would really, really like to know. Also, what happened to, J to Jerome? He was fine. He just got smacked upside the head by Monica. See, on one hand, he could totally be evil. But I don't think he was evil the entire time because he did, like, want to hang out with Rooney and he saved Rooney's life from the Scissor Walker. So I'm leaning towards he didn't start out being evil. Maybe when I okay, like, gave him the family envelope and all that family stuff, turns out that uh, he went, oh my god, this is my dad, I should probably do what he says or some weird reason. So he was doing all of that stuff. But maybe. I, I like to believe that he didn't start out evil and he became evil over the course of the game and we just didn't see that. Because it would have been kind of weird if he was all like nice to me. It's like, oh, you want to come back for some drinks? And then he goes, oh no, this is our walker. I should probably rescue her. But 
that was Nightcry, you guys. I'll be honest, it had its moments, but <laughs> the controls. I would have had so much more fun if it wasn't for those gosh darn controls. They were so bad. If they had just implemented something where I could use WASD to move around as well as the... Like, keep the um, keep the mouse for my interacting, but at least let me move with WASD so I wouldn't keep getting caught around corners. At least a couple of my deaths were because I got caught in a corner, especially when I got caught with the camera behind the wall, which made it so I couldn't move at all, and you guys saw that glitch because I titled the video that I broke the game. But... I did like it. I actually did like it. Not much more to say about that. I might go see the other endings off screen just because I'm curious. But that's going to be it for this Let's Play, you guys. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I am playing some Nightcry. I'll see you all in another Let's Play.